If you're new to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button and remember to click the bell icon to get notifications of all my uploads throughout the week. So today I thought I would have a little bit of an experimental play in my small Dialusions flip journal. Uh, we're going to try and do something that I don't normally do. It's a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, but I'm going to have a play anyway, and if I make a complete and total hash of it, then that's okay, because having a play is all about learning from your mistakes. So I'm going to do something today which I haven't done before. So I've gathered some resources around me. Obviously I have my little journal. I've got um, a set of paints from Indigo Blue. These are their portrait paints. And I'll go through the colours one by one. So we've got Fair, we have Warm Tan, Rouge, sorry, I'll start again, Apricot Blush, not Rouge. We've got Porcelain, and we have Medium Beige. So we've got um, five different kind of skin tones ranging from dark skin right the way through to obviously very fair. Uh, you've got the medium beige for kind of olive skin, that kind of thing. So you can kind of build up whatever you want to from just from those five. But I've also got a couple of blues and a green from Dina Wakeley. So I've got the lime, sky and ocean that I'm going to be using as well. But I've also got black and white and they'll be a necessity, but you'll see why later on. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just cover the page with clear gesso to so I can get the lid off. So I'm just going to give the page a kind of liberal coating and get rid of any dust or stray hairs with that clear gesso. And the only reason I'm doing that is just because I intend obviously to paint on the page and this is just going to help move the paint around a little bit. And it's not going to soak straight into the page so that I can't move it if I need to to blend some of the colours. Now I've managed to get a little bit of a hair in there but hey ho. Like I said it is only a play when all said and done. Okay, so that's the clear gesso done and dusted. I'm going to give this a quick blast. Okay, so the fan in that um, heat gun is starting to go. Um, it doesn't always kick in. And sometimes when it does kick in, it then cuts out. It's very temperamental at the moment. I've not had it that long either. But anyway, so to get going, like I said, I've done my clear gesso and I'm going to start off just with a light, um, I'm going to start kind of drawing out what I want to do. And I'm going to try and do an eye. I'm going to try and paint an eye. There we go. Which I've not really done before. So I'm going to like block out the basic kind of shape of the eye. So I'm going to just kind of draw in. I don't want to use pencil. I just want to try and see if I can just loosely do this. I haven't got any pictures for reference, I'm doing this all kind of from, what's their memory, but, but yeah, I'm <laughs> doing it all kind of from memory. So it's just going to be case of what my mind tells me whether I can actually translate this onto the page. So I've got 
a little pot of water. I'm just going to quickly rinse off the brush. I'm not going to go mad with it, but I've just got some small, I won't say small detail brushes, but just smallish kind of brushes that I want to use um, to build up colour and that kind of stuff. That one's not washed very well. Lazy boy, not doing that properly. So let's just get some outside kind of bit under the eye. Like, I'm not trying to do photorealism here. That's not what the aim of this is. So I'm not going to bring in some of that medium beige. So we've got darker tones now. So I can start building that up in the corner and the underneath, the underside. Where kind of the creases of the eyelid and that kind of stuff would go. of paint and just add in a few highs, highlights, just to kind of get it where I want it to be. And then bring some white in. I'm going to put it straight down on there. Oh, too wet. Leave that white on. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Don't be a fool, boy. Okay, let's bring in some of that apricot blush for a little bit of pink colour. And then a little bit of water. And then I can just start kind of working in. Not going for realism, like I said. Put that away. I don't want a lot of that. I might bring it back in again in a bit. Okay, so blue. Blue, 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 blue. Start off with some sky blue. Not a lot. And I'm going to start. Perhaps I should maybe use a smaller brush. Almost looks like there's a little bit of metallic in there. I don't think there is. It just looks like it.
kind of squarish rather than round. Hey ho! And it's not darker blue, just to get some tonality in there. It's a good word, isn't it? All I'm doing is just flicking with the brush. So we'll be adding in the pupil. So, bring in a little bit of that green, just to add a little bit of just a few flecks. And then <clears throat> bring in that black. And then I can start to draw in the pupil. All I'm going to do is just go around in the circle until I'm happy with the size. Like I said, I don't want this to be completely and utterly perfect. Because I've not done this before, that would be kind of unrealistic to expect that I'd get it perfect the first time. expecting it not. <laughs> so just add in a bit darker or black. Back with the largerish 
semi larger brush. Excuse the noise from my telephone. Emails coming in. Bring into that darker, warm tan. Just a small amount, get it mixed in with what's already on the brush. Sorry if I'm not talking very much. This what happens when you, you know, sort of try and concentrate a little bit. Your thought process is completely go out of the window as you're trying to kind of build up your colour. Mr. Bank is just getting out of bed. Okay, so Got that darker tone in there. I'm going to just add in some kind of like eyelash detail. Again, just using that same small brush. Have a little bit of that black, and then I can just start to add. Still a bit too strong. It's better once it starts to actually start to go. A little bit of detail. You can always add to. It's easier to add than take away.
Okay, I'm just going to give that a quick blast. Apricot back in. I'm just going to add Don't add too much. Okay, let's get some of these lids back on. I can imagine it going all over the floor. Okay, so now grab the white again. Light. Just there, and another just there, like that. Blend that a little bit with my finger. What I'm trying to avoid is actually drawing a circle around where the iris is because I'd rather it was just made up more of brush strokes. Just fill in some of those areas there. Just kind of makes it a little bit more realistic, but not overly. Because, like I said, I don't want it to realistic. very colours that are in there. Try not to go over the pupil. And then <coughs> grab some more of that white. Just add a few little white flashes in there too. Nobody's eye is completely the same block colour, is it?
And I think, I think I'm done. Just want to grab some of that um, porcelain paint now, just to fill in around those edges. Kind of blend that colour in a little bit. better. Just blend that out a bit more. <laughs> cool. I like that. I'm happy with that. For no other reason than just because I wanted to have a go. So let's just sand and date that. Then I might think of something to add a bit later on. So what date is it today? I've lost the date. Oh, somebody tell me, 23rd, there we go. So Friday the 23rd. No, typical. Twenty third of March. There we go. Done. Happy with that. I'll just give it a final blast. And then I think I'm just going to add a little bit more white just onto those catch lights. just because they've settled a little bit. The colour from underneath is starting to show through a little bit. That better. Done did and dusted. Happy with that. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>